It is obvious today that America has defaulted on this promissory note insofar as her citizens of color are concerned. Instead of honoring this sacred obligation, America has given the Negro people a bad check, a check which has come back marked insufficient funds. But we refuse to believe that the bank of justice is bankrupt. We refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in the great vaults of opportunity of this nation. We have come to cash this check, a check that will give us upon demand the riches of freedom and security of justice. Today is a peak moment for us. Every year we honor the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King by hosting a day of service for Abington Friends School families, community families, nearby school families, and we invite everybody to come in, reflect, help, get to know one another, and work toward building a beloved community. We have the guiding vision and prophetic voice of Dr. King to bring us together, but those are values that resonate very strongly with us as a Quaker school community. When we do this work of making hats and blankets or meals, it's all about envisioning the person who's going to receive that. We're doing teddy bear making for kids that maybe don't have a lovey that could use a lovey. The blankets will go to families that need them. Aid for Friends has a constant need for meals, and so and they have large freezers they can take a big influx and then get them out to people that are homebound. We can be uh, skeptical of one day of service, but it's not one day of service. It's, it's a lifetime of service uh, that we simply get to celebrate in a unique way today. I think it's the best way to commemorate Dr. King's legacy by making this a day on and not a day off and doing acts of service. So what's exciting to me is that here at Abington Friends and all across our district, there are scores and scores of people being involved in service. A friend school is really for everybody to connect around values that are, are profoundly healthy. Respect, a reflection, human connection, really speaking about developing the whole person from intellect to social intelligence to a sense of one's own inner life and spirit. I want to see as many people come do this as possible here, somewhere else, it doesn't matter where. Maybe you'll make a meal on a day that's not MLK Day. Maybe I'll see you on the, on the street and say hello and there's a connection there and it's a chance to bridge some differences in a time especially now where that really matters so much. Thank you.